hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial video in this video i'm going to show you how to fix the high cpu gpu and ram usage bug caused by the amd radeon software this bug can affect anyone with an amd graphics card and depending on your graphics card driver version the bug could cause very high cpu gpu and ram usage even when the pc is idle for example with my rx 580 on driver version 20.2.1 and 20.3.1 i had the radeon software use 15 gb of ram when recording my gameplays and when i upgrade Upgraded to driver version 20.7.1 and 20.7.2, I got very high GPU usage. And on the recently released driver version 20.8.1 and 20.8.2, I'm having very high CPU usage all the time. By the way, in case you didn't know, for example, driver 20.8.2, 20 is there, 8 is the month, and 2 is the revision of the driver. That's how AMD drivers are named. To check for your currently installed driver version, right click on the desktop. Click on the AMD Radeon software, go to settings, then below software and driver you should be able to see your currently installed driver version, mine is 20.8.2 and you can also click here to check for driver updates and see if your driver is up to date. So to fix this high CPU, GPU and RAM issue, right click on a taskbar, open task manager, more details, look for the Radeon software host application which is right here and as you can see it's utilizing 7 to 9 percent of my cpu and like i said before depending on your driver version you might have high cpu gpu or ram usage to fix this right click on the radeon software host application and click on end task and as you can see my cpu usage is back to normal if you have an amd graphics card this could be the reason why you're getting frame drops starters or just low fps when gaming especially if your cpu only has four cores and 8 GB RAM, you'll have very bad performance when gaming. So this should fix the issue. That's why I monitor my CPU and GPU usage on my taskbar here without opening the task manager. But I'll show you how to do this in another tutorial, so make sure to subscribe. And also, every time you restart your PC or open the AMD Radeon software, you'll have to go back to the task manager and end the Radeon software host application. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments. And please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.